Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Leaving the Farm right here on Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com. More information ever sleeps. We're also on TammyPepperman.org, of course, on No Borders Radio at NoBordersRadio.co.uk. And, of course, we are only listener-supported. We are not corporately funded by drug traffickers of the Council of Foreign Relations. And if you'd like to donate, please visit us at www.freedomslips.com and click on our support pages. Every little bit helps. You can also keep TammyPeppermint.org on the net by donating to our web service provider, Tamworth Web Development at tamworthwebdevelopment.co.uk. Without you, we do not exist. Tonight, breaking news, member of the CFR, the Council of Foreign Relations, FedEx, my favorite packaging company that uh, refused service to the House of Lords last year, called me up, told me that uh, they just couldn't find them when they were in the action of the United States versus the United States Incorporated at all. Interesting today on usatoday.com, FedEx charged with trafficking drugs for web pharmacies. FedEx is facing drug trafficking charges after a federal grand jury in San Francisco indicted the overnight shipping company with conspiring to deliver prescription drugs for illegal internet pharmacies. The indictment says FedEx knew for a decade that such pharmacies use their services. FedEx took steps to protect its business by setting up special credit policies for internet pharmacies so it wouldn't lose money if police shut down the sites, the indictment says. FedEx also ignored warnings from the DEA, FDA, and members of Congress. Of course, they're taking their hands out. It's not the FDA that allows this stuff to occur. It's not the FDA that's killing 42 females. 42 females every single day in the United States Incorporated are dying of prescription drug overdoses. These are not illegal drugs. The FDA has contracts with the Ethics Commission, Freebirds Ethics Commission International, to use human beings as human test subjects. I'm waiting for the FDA to be charged. I'm waiting for the Department of Health and Human Services, which is the Office of Population Affairs, which is the depopulation program set into play by Dr. Henry Kissinger in 1975 after his memorandum 200 to the, um, the uh, National Security Council, which maintained that depopulation should be the highest priority of all foreign policy. Now again, FedEx member of the CFR. The Council on Foreign Relations has been charged with drug trafficking tonight. Today, Congress shot down an airplane over the Ukraine, which is a corporation located in the District of Columbia. Putin, Obama, Joseph Biden, they're blaming on-the-ground troops, saying that's not the CIA. The CIA is a production company employed by the United States Incorporated as evidenced by the 1947 National Security Act as evidenced by book four of the Church Committee reports page 12 supplementary detailed staff reports on foreign and military intelligence CIA formerly known as the CIG, the Central Intelligence Group, is a production company. It produces these shows, shoots down planes, kills innocent civilians in Gaza, Israel, Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, Vietnam, North Korea, Japan, Cambodia. When does this end? When do you stop buying into these productions? When do you stop playing this game and patronizing Congress, the killer of mankind, the killer of human beings? 
across the globe. The policy director. When do you stop buying into Dianne Feinstein promoting feminism, a tool of politics to raise society? Dianne Feinstein, of course, it's as the chair on the Senate Intelligence Committee. When do you stop buying into this stuff called law, a product of a corporation known as the United States Incorporated, having been found guilty of genocide in November of 2013? Again, December of 2013, they were found guilty of human trafficking, January 2013. Here we are today, coming down the pike, general counsels being charged, attorney generals being charged. There's still attorney generals out there playing the same game. How much more that pertains to this life, Jesus said. How much more are you going to take? Are we going to now crucify Barabbas? Or are we going to leave Jesus on the cross? It's up to you, the sheeple. It's up to you. Who are you going to call your father? Congress? The killer of mankind? Are you going to keep patronizing it and calling it daddy? Are you going to keep being patriot hearts? Constitutors subscribing as debtors. It's a definition. Are you going to keep being the whipping boy for Congress, corporate counsel, general counsel as it maintains these shows day after day, shooting down planes full of civilian casualties? This cannot be tolerated. The human race cannot sustain these losses. Over a million abortions performed every year. That's murder. Barabbas says it's not. 42 females per day. 35,000 male suicides in the United States Incorporated per year alone are committing suicide due to family court process, probate court process, being raised by Satan and of course none other than the horror of Babylon that's sleeping with Satan. Come on, let's be honest here. We're gonna lay it all out on the table. If you want to go back to sleep, that's up to you. You'll be raised. You keep patronizing it, you're gonna live as Job. You're gonna burn all your houses down, kill your wives, kill your children, Kill your mothers and fathers to the medical industry, but it's quiet. It looks pretty, doesn't it? It looks really, really nice. And it looks like they're protecting you as they look for the culprit that shot down the plane that was Congress. That was on its directives. Boko Haram is a corporation sitting in Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. ISIS, a corporation sitting in the District of Columbia. How much more? How much more are you going to take? I do this day after day. I've shown you the evidence. Both shown you the evidence. What more? What more do you need? Oh, I need my daddy. Okay. Well, we gave you the option. That's the whole point of leaving the farm public law, you have a choice to make, red or blue pill. It's not up to me to make it for you. You make the decision, you end up patronizing whoever you're going to patronize, and one of them will kill you eventually to the profit of itself. Bottom line, there's no other options. These attorneys, I didn't get due process. You got due process in Matthew 23. You didn't serve me correctly. You got due process in Matthew 23. You got due process with the Commerce Clause of the Constitution. You can do anything you want to, honey. Free will. You want to trick out human beings? You want to kill human beings in action of genocide? That's up to you. It lays on your head. 
Joseph Biden is number one predator of children and females. The introduction of the Violence Against Women Act is a privacy law. Protects pedophiles and traffickers of females and children. You can read the numbers over at the UN uh, 2000 UN report on human trafficking. It's even got all their financial details in there. What is the UN? It's an arm of Congress. Been watching that come out. Oh, we got some development going on. You said. You said. United States Dep Development Corporation here. Who do you think funds Monsanto? Who do you think funds all of this genocide? Who funds it? Microsoft, Google, FedEx, BP. This is your corporate governance. That's the thing you're patronizing. Shuffling records off court records, shuffling evidence out of existence. Google's got a new program now. We'll make stuff disappear for you. Isn't that relative to what they did to Jimmy Hoffa? <clears throat> Al Capone. He used to work for Anheuser Busch. He was running booze for Anheuser Busch. What happened? when General Counsel decided that he had too much money and he was competition. Oh, they called him out as a criminal, didn't they? And the diagnosis with, with uh, syphilis cashed in on that one. Did some prison time. All of you believe that he was a bad guy. He was as much a bad guy as Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein did not want to enter into the Confederacy. He said, no, you're not going to raise my people, you're not going to human traffic my citizens. And what happened? Governor Pilate there presented it to the people. And they said, hey, look, do you want us to crucify this guy or uh, take out the attorney? And you said, what? Let him be crucified. Let's raise all of his stuff on behalf of the United States Incorporated. And what did it get you? What did it get you? Almost 300 people slaughtered today in an airline. The behest of the United States Incorporated cashing in on your demise. This is the same thing that Hitler did in Nazi Germany by burning down the Reichstag. Same thing that Moses did when he came down from that hill and told you that you all are killing each other's wives and asses, or killing each other and stealing each other's wives and asses. Gave you some constitutional theory. Thou shalt not kill. Wait a second. Human beings don't kill in the first place. Psychopaths do. What are you talking about, Moses? What are you talking about, Moses? First Corinthians 6. You can only fornicate by giving your body to Moses there. You can only fornicate by giving your body to a Lord God of it. Shame on you, Jesus said. For shame! What the heck are you doing? Patronizing the murderer. The last time you all let Jesus be crucified, are you going to allow it again? Are you going to decide to take Jesus off that cross? and crucify Barabbas, the murderer. Etymology on that one means ma son of the master. Now it's not the son of God. Barabbas is son of the master. Well, who's his master? Satan, your adversary. Who's your adversary? Same one who passed the 1947 National Security Act that said human beings were the enemy of the state? Perhaps. Same Satan that came in with Article 12 of the Articles of Confederation and said, oh, we're going we're gonna to charge and pledge all of humankind to uh, make sure that we, we uh, discharge this bankruptcy here. 
1933, they did it again. Rome's done this over and over and over again. It's been known as different names. United States of America. Korea. Republic of Germany. Federal Republic of Germany. Federal Republic of Germany. Confederated State of Russia. Any of those sinking in yet? Any anything hitting home here? Because you're being slaughtered right in front of your eyes. And again, just like Nazi Germany, you're crying out for Hitler to protect you. This one's a really pretty Hitler, though. He's a great Hitler. He's not black. He's not white. He's not Christian. He's not Muslim. He's not Jewish. He's the perfect candidate to play neutralized Hitler here. Joseph Biden, sweet talker, oh boy, sweet talker. He came out with that Violence Against Women Act, although he was a male victim of female perpetrated domestic violence as a child. He laughs about that one. I would too if I made that much money. Jilly Biden there owns the majority stock in Aurora Medicine, by the way. Who cashes in when you're injured? Who cashes in when Congress deploys a plague upon you? Come on. We got bubonic plague rolling around out there through the CDC again. Might just use it, right? Who's been dosing humanity throughout the, the millennia with anthrax exposure since they found it occurred naturally in sheep carcasses? Oh, we don't want to talk about that. No, wait, we do. That is been the black plague, bubonic plague, tuberculosis. We can go on and on and on. It's just different concentrations of anthrax. Who has access to missiles? Come on. Ollie North went down for uh, President Reagan. He was a great actor. He was a great actor. Now, who's the playwright? Oh, the Entity writing acts of Congress. Act after act after act after act. Al Qaeda is traded as Alston Al. District of Columbia. Al Qaeda. It's a corporation. It means the base. It's also traded as Alley and Al Incorporated, Washington, D.C. Angela Merkel, she's all over the media. German Marshall Fund of the United States, located in the District of Columbia. Federal Republic of Germany is located at 3728 Yuma Street Northwest Washington DC 20016 Hitler came in with acts of enablement in 1933 and joined with the Confederacy that perpetual union that did the same thing to create all of the quote United States did the same thing to create, quote, all of the United Nations. United Nations are corporations. Bill Gates is a sellout. Come on, let's be honest here. They gave him the opportunity to sign his name. And what did he do? Well, everybody knows what he did. He's, at this moment, paying and perpetrating genocide through United States development the Ukraine Ukraine United States is located at uh, 1776 that's 1776 for those patriotards out there I Street Northwest Suite 575 
Ukraine United States Business Council is located at 10 K Street Northwest Suite 903. And of course we got you said Europe and Eurasia. DOS, you said 5850 Kiev Place, Washington, D.C. Air Ukraine. Air Ukraine. Located at 1620 I Street, Northwest, Suite 810, Washington, D.C. Moscow. Washington, Moscow Business Corporation. It's located at 1800 Connecticut Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C. Washington, Moscow Exchange. 2001 S Street, Northwest, Suite 530, Washington, D.C. American University in Moscow. That's a tricky one, isn't it? 3001 VZ Terrace, Northwest, Apartment 1022. Greenpeace is also traded as Greece. Located at 7028 Street, Northwest. Suite 300, Washington, D.C. 2001. You see all the media presentations going on. Oh my God, we're at war. They're killing us. It's Congress. Arrest Congress. Arrest the General Counsel. Also traded as Rick Perry. Rick Perry is also traded as the Department of Health and Human Services, which is a depopulation program set into play by Dr. Henry Kitson during 1975 called the Office of Population Affairs. Kissinger said in his memorandum 200, depopulation should be the highest priority of all foreign policy. Let's give them drugs. Let's get them addicted. Then let's blame them for their suicides. Come on. This is the first and second welfare theorems. You know what it says in there? They're going to get females to trade their children for drugs. And I'll be darned, I've witnessed that firsthand. These females are trading their kids into the sex trafficking industry for benzodiazepine, Valium, Xanax, Demerol, Vicodin, you name it. Kids are less important than her being sleepy. Soma theory. Come on, let's lay it all out on the table. 2009 report on human trafficking out of the UN says females are the main perpetrator of the female and child sex trafficking industry and the male slave labor market. Well, what is that? Or you wrap a millstone around his neck through the court process and he's a male slave labor uh, candidate. Come on. You move on. You really don't like males. Go off to your next female hit. Or or the next male if you didn't get a rich one the first time. Let's be honest here. Let's be truthful about who's who's abusing who. And who's been getting away with it through legal process. Who can buy her stairway to heaven by sleeping with an attorney or a judge? Or just offering the attorney or judge their child to have sex with. Over and over again, daycare workers, female daycare workers, drugging children with drugs such as rohypnol, not in the adult form, but in liquid form prescribed by doctors who are also preying on the children. Now, these are hard truths. Are you going to go back to sleep? Or are you going to do something about this? Because those are my children. Every one of them we have an obligation to. Those are my children. Those are your children. That are being stockpiled 
in, quote, refugee camps right now so that they can be preyed on by attorneys. You're either going to step up to the plate now or you are going to be a target of wrath. I can guarantee you. You don't step up to the plate and protect these children. I will find you indicted and sleeping in Gitmo and stacked like cordwood. There's two million attorneys in the United States alone. Now, I don't I don't have any contracts with the Geneva Convention. The United States doesn't have any contracts whatsoever regarding the rules of war. You declared war on humanity. I don't agree with your rules of war. That means everything is fair game. You could be peeled for all, for all I care. You chose. You chose to slaughter human beings. To prey on children. To use them for your profit. There are no rules of war at that point. You are a threat to humanity. That means you're going to be removed far from human existence, human life. Some of you will be put with each other so that you could still produce because I've got a human populace to maintain on general welfare. That can't happen without charging you and without using you for hard labor. Enough is enough. Today I witnessed more horror perpetrated by you nutballs. Nutballs. You are psychopathic without human empathy, without human compassion. Your diagnosis says that you're going to be juiced until you're pissing and crapping yourself in one of these institutions that you built for human beings. drooling down your chin. I could care less what they do to you. I can guarantee you that you're being held accountable. Not just will be. You are. As to your chosen form of government, you chose to maintain human beings in the Pyongyang project. You think the capacity building stops at you? Heck no! I don't have compassion for you. I have no empathy whatsoever for a psychopath. And I'm sure as heck not indoctrinated with chivalry. You had a really good thing going on here. And it ends. It ends. Yeah. I'm gratifying ancient kitty. He's a sovereign cat. <laughs> it has been an interesting week on top of you know what Congress put on as a display today. Killing more human beings. To all the actors out there they've been yelling you left and right because you've got money. They don't have any. Sad. We watched Justin Bieber and all of these things, and so many actors and actresses being charged. Yes, you were part of it. Yes, you promoted the uh, foreign relations there. Yes, you were part of, part of the hegemonic media. But if you didn't know, and you are innocent, you will not be held accountable. And I would suggest that you get out now. But, you know, I, I was telling cops that last year, the year before that, and they didn't listen either. And another detective this week was rolled on by the attorney. Of course, he was charged with uh, giving information to the attorney. And then they, the same court said that they didn't have enough evidence to charge the attorney herself, which happened to be a lover. And... uh 
Sadly, Eve rat won out, didn't she? Rolled right over on that law enforcement officer. And of course, the same evidence that he was convicted on was the evidence that she received this information for all of those that don't get it yet. But again, everybody was given fair warning. Everybody was given fair warning. And, uh, can't say we didn't play nice. Oh, we've got so much stuff. You know, all of these victims in Gaza. Of course, Israel and Palestine, the two corporations playing the game against the citizens, are offering now hearts and minds. Oh, you got killed, did you? Let me help you. Let me let me provide you with a psychiatrist I've got over here waiting in the wings. That's hearts and minds. Don't buy into it. They did the same thing in Malaysia, and actually, the 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 term. Winning Hearts and Minds was first used during the Malaysian conflict when they came in, raised everything, and then offered the females uh, food stamps, welfare benefits, housing benef benefits, and all of these things as refugees. And as we evidenced last year, they came right back around and put all of those refugees in prison settings and separated them from their babies so that their babies could go off to the attorneys into the sex trafficking industry. And of course, everybody, you know, you want to close your eyes. You don't want to hear this stuff. You don't want to deal with these truths. But that's all there is. You've got to stand up now. It's not a joke. It's not something to, uh, you know, just slough off. It's not going to get you anywhere if you do that. What's going to happen if you bury your head in the sand like an ostrich? Your butt is still up in the air. That doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do anybody any good. You don't want to see your predator. That's it. It's still coming. Unless you stop now patronizing this thing and calling it your father. Sick. Absolutely disgusting. You know, today I came across an interesting uh, article on my Twitter news feed, of course. Are federal agents learning tyranny at the Holocaust Museum? Well, yeah, it's the same Germany. Germany's a corporation sitting in the District of Columbia. The Stasi agents are called Federal Bureau of Investigation. Other Stasi agents are called CIA. Yet other Stasi agents are called the IRS, Internal Revenue Service, which is also known as Friend of the Court. Child Protection Services, Adult Protection Services, those are all Stasi agents. They just look pretty. In the UK, they're still called SS, Social Services. Australia. You all, all of you, were exposed to the Australian stolen generations through the same process. And you closed your eyes. Oh, that's not me. Yes, it is. They used child protection to move an entire generation of children right under your noses. Ireland. How many dead babies do we have to come up with before you realize that this is just genocide perpetrated by Congress? Ireland, you don't want to see it? Okay, what about the ones in Florida? Dead babies. Kendrick Johnson, Georgia. His organs were harvested by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. He was killed in a public school, or Hitler Youth Camp, if you want that word used instead. Canada. Thousands upon thousands of dead babies.
Why are you closing your eyes if these babies are found at, at uh, orphanages? Or youth camps? Or churches? Those things are just presentations. Same Congress directing this. Same Google. Same Facebook. Same BP. Same every every corporation that's in the United Nations sitting at the Council on Foreign Relations. Ephesians 6, your beef is not with human beings. Your beef is with principalities. Those that are located in high places. How high do you need to go? Do we need to go looking for aliens to blame? Rather than right here in your backyard? I thought that was a neat presentation. I saw an NASA. Uh, presentation come out this week on my Twitter feed. A laser caused a spark on a rock in Mars. Okay, how did it spark? Where did the oxygen come from exactly? I mean, these things are, are nuts. A couple years ago, I was watching a NASA presentation and they were uh, fixing up a uh, satellite and you could hear the drill. Where's the binding in space? Bounded sound in space. Study that one. How did how did we hear anything? It's not a bound sound. No, it was reverberating and all of these things. So this is on a site called DollarVigilante.com. Our federal agents learning tyranny at the Holocaust Museum. In this age of unwarranted mass surveillance on emails and video calls, it might seem like the Federal Bureau of Investigations or FBI and other intelligence agents seem more versed in tyranny than ever before. Perhaps that is because they are being schooled in it. According to CNN Money, all FBI Academy trainees learn about Nazi Germany and police state oppression. Why isn't that something? Because you've got at the head of every chief of police department in the United States Incorporated, somebody trained at Quantico. They don't say they're FBI, they say they're chief of police. So these are these are really quiet Stasi agents. And of course you go back to ninety nine, two thousand, and you find court orders that ordered that Law enforcement has to have low IQs. I wonder why. Well, they're not very good puppets if they have thought. You get a law enforcement agent with some free thought and it ends up like uh, Officer Dorner being slaughtered by federal agents. Crucified. Dorner was burned alive. My federal agents murdered, and y'all turned a blind eye to it. Wait a second. He was razzing them and busting them for corruption, genocide, and slaughter of human beings. He was on your side. And you cried out all the more, let him be crucified. By golly, let him be crucified. We don't want to believe that this is happening in our own country. This is your country, right? You're patronizing this thing. It's a style. In the Articles of Confederation, it says that... The style of this confederacy shall be known as, quote, the United States of America. A style means a chain of events. It's a depopulation pogrom. Its intent is to slaughter you after it uses you up as to your productive value because you're a farm animal. They just offer you a really pretty kill shoot and a nice looking farm. 
Now, you're locking your doors against your neighbors. In every county, the local locksmith is the sheriff. They have keys. Your neighbor's not your threat. Corporate security officers are a threat to humankind. The FBI, Stasi agents, are your enemy. Congress is your enemy. Attorneys are your enemy. They worship another god. They're not worshiping the god that you worship. They're worshiping Marduk, the god of Baal. Baal. All of you have experienced somebody, at least in your small circle, if not you, that's been arrested and offered Baal within the action of Baalism. The divorce rate is 80%. 80% of you who have gotten a divorce here have experienced Baalism as your child is held hostage by attorneys within the court process. And you're paying ransom to get them back. And you pay more if the attorney offered you one day a month. That's according to Pareto's rule. They give you 20%. You're going to put invest 80% of your energy into buying those children back by court process. Foreclosures. Anybody who's been foreclosed upon. Wait a second. The bank didn't own anything until you said that they did by buying something from it. How's that one for psychological warfare? A mortgage means dead pledge. You've been taking dead pledges in adherence to Article 12 of the Articles of Confederation. Yep, count me in. I sure want to be part of the debenture participation program. Please strap that debt around my neck and let me pay off congressional bankruptcy because I have nothing else to do. You know, there, I don't have a life or anything. I, I need to... Uh, be strapped down and wear a collar around my neck, call it a tie, we'll work 40 hours a week for you, and you only, Lord God. And during my tenure and my time on this fiefdom, on top of working for you to pay my taxes and to pay my utility bills, but my utility bills used to be free before you stole the Sester K. Vitross. And you strapped a millstone around my neck before you took all that? Humanity used to be free. It used to have a kingdom. And it was just called the kingdom. It didn't have any attorneys in it. It didn't have any psychiatrists in it. And the tree of knowledge didn't exist because psychiatry did not exist. Concepts did not exist. Who's selling you crap from the tree of knowledge? The law merchant. What's it selling you? Names of stuff. Why? Well, it gets you to fight for those titles, doesn't it? Defense of title. That's the name of the game. Controversy. Trover is, is something found. Treasure trove. I found you. You don't know who you are. I'm going to pick you up now and profit off of your existence. And the saddest thing is that it's an imaginary government. It's an agency by estoppel. It says, well, I'm BP or I'm a corporation or I'm the United States of America. These are all fictional creations. They're concepts. You're not worshipping each other. You're not at each other's feet. And you sure as heck not uh, protecting children. You're patronizing those judges. Oh, you got to protect my children. Okay, what we'll do is we'll, we'll make it mandatory for them to be in public schools. That's a great idea. Because I have to work 60 hours a week to pay my bills. <laughs> it's a great idea. If you force me to work 60 or 80 hours a week, that means you can get at my children, right? It's a good trade-off. I need a paycheck. 
Hello? That's the action of Judas. You're delivering up your own babies in exchange for a little bag of silver. And sadly, absolutely, horrifyingly, disgustingly, that bag of silver isn't even lawful money. It's called debt notes now. So you're not actually getting anything. You're swinging more debt around your neck. It's absolutely sick. Disgusting. Shameful. These are your children. Your brothers and sisters in the Ukraine and Malaysia that were just slaughtered by Congress today. Again in Israel today. Gaza today. Palestine. Iraq. Afghanistan. Iraq, Iran. India. Australia. They're all corporations of the Confederacy. You're maintaining the human trafficking industry by giving them your energy. Blacklistednews.com, California. Whoops, wasting water in California will now cost you $500. Whose water is that? Is that Caesar's water? Is that Caesar's water? Because you all allowed that man in, in Colorado last year to be crucified when he put in a reservoir. And the corporation of Colorado came after him, said, no, you can't do that, you can't take my water. The Corps of Engineers have engineered everything to flow into municipal wells. <gasps> gas, audible gas. Well, why is that? Well, so they can sell you back your own water. Why would they do that? You're a farm animal. You're behaving as a farm animal. You live in a penal colony. And it's a concept. But you are not insane or anything. And, you know, you get pissed off when I call you an infant. What do you call it? What do you call it? I mean, I, I watch my listenership go up and down, up and down, up and down. And, and of course, you don't want to hear these things. But you're already being slaughtered. It's not like it's coming in the future and you have an opportunity to, to you know, hide your head or, or go elsewhere and it won't happen. It's already happening. You're already being slaughtered. And of course the truth hurts. I didn't like it either. My own teachers, I kept calling them and saying, I, I said, no, I can't believe this. Absolutely not. How, how can this happen in, quote, my country? That's back when I was a patriot hard. You know, and, and we had lots of hearts and minds and, and lots of uh, fourth generation warfare, low intensity conflict. We all buy into it, but now is the time when you have to make a decision here. Because you are being slaughtered. This is the same exact, exact as Nazi Germany. It's Nazi Germany all over again. And it's happening on a global scale, according to not only the evidence of the actual actuality of the thing that you're watching, but you can find the documentation of all of this posturing for today, back in the 50s and 60s and 70s, after the 1947 National Security Act. Ulrich and Simon have a bet out. They all bet on you. And what's funny is that how can you make a bet on something that you have a ringer for? The International Monetary Fund, of course, is a ringer for the inflation rate. And Simon and Elric could come in and bet on the inflation rate and the effect it would have on the populace as it decreased and increased. That's not really a bet, right? I mean, that's the same as somebody throwing a game. 
that fixing. But they laugh about it. They laugh about genocide and control of the inflation rate. They laugh at you. I mean, one of the most disgusting was um, an article I came across years ago. It's called Homer Gets a Tax Cut. You have no idea what taxes are. You have no idea about the political agenda behind taxation. And that's what they were saying. They were laughing. And you'll never read that. This is just too damn much to read. And they count on that too. And that's exactly what Jesus said. My people perish for lack of knowledge. You won't crack a book. You're not going to go look for the evidence. You're going to go watch ABC, which is the American Broadcasting Corporation, or NBC, which is the National Broadcasting Corporation, PBS, which is a public broadcasting station service. And these things, what they do is they, they're indoctrinating you to be a corporate product. And you're not even going to go to the BBG.gov. At BBG.gov, the Broadcasting Board of Governors, it says right on their About Me section that they have full international control of all civil media. We're indoctrinating you. That's that's clean hands. If they tell you you're doing, they're doing it, and you still accept it, what's happening? Well, you're consenting. Consent. We're sending. No, I'm not consenting. I was talking to somebody today. No, I'm not consenting. Okay, you entered into the jurisdiction of the court, and you're not consenting. Well, I told them they didn't have jurisdiction. Why did you go into the bank as a deposit? But I told them I wasn't consenting. Yeah, you're acting like an infant. You wonder why they're protecting you under the laws of infants. They're picking you up as treasure trove and saying, Look, we got another retard here. Now that word retard means to stop or impede. We got another useful idiot. Useful innocent. That means you're very useful, you're patronizing something, you have no idea what it is, but you'll hoop and holler and you'll teach it to somebody else so that they can patronize the same behemoth, the same monster, the same thing slaughtering humanity across the globe. That's a useful idiot. Stop being useful idiots. Back to back blacklisted news. California, where a sizable percentage of the food Americans eat is grown, is in the middle of a historic three-year drought. Oh, no! Go to Grand Stock Up and see how much they've been cloud seeding that. Congress controls the fall of water just as much as it does the flow of water. It's been damming the water. It tells you, it tells you all sorts of stuff. Oh, we need this for hydroelectric power. We've got to dam this up up here and corporations. It's okay if the corporations poison you or anything because we can sell them carbon credits. Where do you, where does that money go? It goes to each other as they're selling each other the right to slaughter you. Corporations are betting on your debt. Attorneys. Attorneys are killing you. All of you. And you've allowed this to occur by being separate from each other. Oh, he's black. He's Christian. He's Jew. He's white. He's brown. He's red. He's yellow. He's Muslim. He's Catholic. And we'll be back after the break, folks. Stick around. And welcome back to the second hour of Leaving the Farm right here on Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, where information never sleeps. We are a listener-supported radio station, where if you'd like to donate, please visit us at www.freedomslips.com and click on our support pages. Every little bit helps. 
again, Tammy Peppermint is completely supported by Tamworth Web Development. And you can find the donate button under the No Borders Radio Player on TammyPepperman.org. And as well, go check out their site. They're, they're just an amazing uh, company. And uh, I wouldn't be here without them. A few months ago, uh, my administrator quit on me. And uh, I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to... Uh, web development and things like that and I always love to learn uh, FTP and all these things and I, I failed miserably miserably and uh, Ben over at Tamworth Web Development uh, got with me today he says Tammy or that day he says uh, uh, Tammy did you break your site <laughs> and he took over the reins and, and um, I am absolutely thankful for his presence. And uh, he did that all of his own free will and out of his own pocket. You know, uh, when we sued the United States Incorporated, the first thing they did was started after us with the fourth generation warfare, controlling the finances. And, um, you know, it, it's always a rough haul. Uh, because the United States Incorporated, that's what they do. That's what corporate counsel does. That's what the general counsel conducts. And, um, you know, without Tamworth Web Development, then, and, and of course, Hot Revolution Radio, without them, we wouldn't be here at all. You know, I would have uh, gone off into the, the sunset already. And, um, it's it's been a profound experience on the farm, and um, it, we're there. You know, it, it took us a long time, and uh, it, it's uh, FedEx today. I mean, that was that was amazing to see, given the uh, interactions I've had personally with FedEx. And it's a uh, willingness to impede not only service. I mean, we had already had a backup plan, by the way. But, um, you know, of course, overnight service to the U.K. from the United States Incorporated was 100 bucks a pop. And, um, so, and um, yeah, that was, it was an interesting conversation. You can find that over at Bonas Entertainment as well because it, it was actually quite humorous. To be told that you know House of Lords just disappeared out of the blue, and they didn't know how to contact them and get a hold of them, and it was it was a very interesting conversation. And um, you know, in it, I said, yeah, of course, they're they're a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Why would they want to get caught? That's like asking uh, um, Charles Manson to investigate his criminal activity. Or something, you know, or, or asking Charles Manson to, you know, uh, just admit everything that he had done. And um, that was an interesting uh, evidentiary trail as well. Charles Manson, of course, was employed by the U.S. government, uh, the United States Incorporated, to go after Roman Polanski at that time. Roman Polanski was actually teaching humanity. Um, and exposing many, many, many things. Many people were back in the 60s, and um, you know the quickest way to castrate him was to kill his wife and an unborn child. And, and of course, uh, Charles Manson was friendly with uh, one of the Beach Boys, and uh, on, a, on a large scale, and uh, he was actually introduced to Sharon Tate. And, and uh, Roman Polanski through that venue. It's just so sad to see what the United States Incorporated will actually go to, the depths they'll go to, in order to shut people up. And, and as everybody knows, you know, a few years ago, we finally got Roman Polanski again because he wasn't shutting up, was he? And, uh, 
that time they castrated him by calling him out as a pedophile the same way they castrated um, oh, a senator that was wiggling his hand under the <coughs> airport restroom uh, several years ago in anticipation of perverted sex. And this is during the time when Craigslist was first up and going and they had free sex everywhere on Craigslist. Everywhere. They had all, every kind of sex you can imagine on, on Craigslist several years ago. And um, Larry Craig, that was his name. Larry Craig didn't have to wiggle his hand under an airport restroom. Of course not. But that was a great presentation to take his knees out from under him. And yet, to this day, Gary Condit is still on the street. And... A fall guy took the fall for the murder of Chandra Levy. And the reason for that is in about three minutes, you guys are all going to forget what I just said anyway, according to the Gown Housing Charter. Because you've been socially engineered in a socially engineered society maintained by the action of psychiatry, psychological warfare, and all of this stuff will go out of your minds. The majority of your minds, the, the longest is a seven minute attention span. And that's created through actually the, the action of television programming. You've got a little span of, of uh, television programming and then you have a commercial or an advertisement and then you have a little span of time in between. And this is uh, engineering you to have a shorter and shorter and shorter attention span and sadly that's why they had to kill uh, George Zincon in 2009 he was teaching compulsive behavior what makes you feel compulsed to do this or that what makes you feel com or compelled to uh, shopping behaviors I mean the, the, the uh, the placement of milk, for example, in a store, that's all commercial. It's a psychological schematic. Uh, if you put the milk at the back of the store, the bread at the back of the store, well, what's going to happen? Well, a whole bunch of impulsive human beings are going to buy a whole bunch of stuff by the time they get back there. And you've been led as cattle forever on this farm. And it's time for you now to get off. You have to stop patronizing this thing and realize that you have the, the ability to get off the farm. Now these things are, are um, very profound to witness. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, see day after day uh, that... Um, Breaking news, according to um, Matthew Price of the BBC, nine infants of the United Kingdom have been killed in that plane that was down by Congress today. Four from Germany, four from Belgium, three from the Philippines, one from Canada. Unverified is 41, of course. And in total, the human death toll is 298 from the Malaysian plane that Congress shot down over the Ukraine today. And, um, it, it's just, uh, Wall Street Journal. You know, this, this, this is a psychopathic mindset. Uh, Wall Street Journal is reporting U.S. stocks tumbled on news of Malaysian airline plane crash, Israel ground operation in Gaza. That's really not bad for business it's great for business because that's human capital capital and they were just very beneficial for the corporate state death derivatives life insurance lawsuits that open up lawsuits that open up to to capture all of the other treasure trove and what's gonna happen family members of the people who have died are going to go into court and expand their incomes. They're going to put their houses up on the block. They're going to put their cars up. They're going to put everything up and sue these monsters that are making a killing on the desk the first go-round. 
and in the court process everybody's going to redistribute their incomes redistribute their assets into their attorney pockets and ultimately based on principle everybody's going to get 0.82 percent less than one percent of all revenue that's generated out of the deaths of these 298 victims and who is laughing all the way to the bank it's none other than attorneys there's no boogeyman there's no Santa Claus there's no uh, what was that one this last year Krampus the attorney is Satan that is your adversary the Board of Governors, General Counsel, Corporate Counsel, these attorneys that do not worship humanity, but they do worship Mardu and the creator of ba Baal, Baalism. I mean, those courts, those are churches of Baal. They're all worshipping Marduk, demigod. As that's how they make their money. That's how they make their living. They make their money off of your demise. As your adversary. All of these influences upon you, these economic and social influences. Congress stands up there, we need gay rights. No, no, don't give them gay rights. Wait a second, Congress passed HIPAA. Congress first used within Hegelian dialectic the problem, which is HIPAA and FERPA and VAWA and CACA. That's the problem. Then there's the reaction, action. And Congress comes in and said, okay, well, we'll offer you some gay rights or female rights or men's rights or parent rights. That is the action of human husbandry within the, the dynamic of Hegelian dialectic. Congress first tosses something in your path and then shows you and rents you a way through the problem. What if we remove the problem? If somebody has shut up your kingdom, what if you open it up again? What if instead of being the cause of Fukushima, the attorneys were used to mop it up? And what if you just lined attorneys up along the Gaza Strip? and let the world take pot shots at them what would happen oh we can't kill attorneys why not they just killed 298 human beings by shooting down a plane in the action of business well you think that I'm evil for wanting to kill attorneys they're slaughtering human beings every second, every moment. They're, they're killing a human being before you can even think such thoughts. If you look at the global rate of human death, the death toll in every second, it's horrifying. Those numbers are over at Power Kills. R.J. Rummel's he was just the most profound, amazing teacher. Of course, we lost him back in March. But it's all there. It's all there, what Congress has been doing. The only thing he didn't put there, because he was at the uh, Hawaii.edu, was the American side. If he would have put that, what would have happened? I have a feeling that I never would have met him. 
I would have never known his his works. I would have never been exposed to so much knowledge and evidence of the crimes of the United States Incorporated. And I often wonder why am I still here and I believe in my heart, I know in my heart that it was because of those teachers that preceded me. Not only did they teach me what to expect, such as Jesus, Jesus said what to expect. He also said what not to do. Don't step over there, Tammy. Don't be an idiot and, and point your fingers at them on the house floor because uh, if you do that, they kill your children. And we learned that from uh, Charles Lindbergh Sr., he stood up on the house floor and, and said, you guys are a bunch of corrupt murderers. You bankers. J.P. Morgan Law Firm. And he called it out as a law firm back then, 1917. And they said, no, you shut up. And he said, no, I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to expose you for what you are. So they kidnapped his son and they murdered his son. And of course, that made him shut up. And and I've experienced this with, with informants. I mean, there's so many informants with stuff held over their heads. And the informant never realizes that's criminal coercion. Okay, they're holding stuff over your head. That's criminal coercion. And you need to hold them accountable for being such as the Mafia. Nobody else is going to. If you have evidence of criminal activity, let it be known. That's what Revelation is all about. How can they be marked by their works and actions if they're not revealed? No, there's, it's just been a, a very profound journey. Very profound journey. There's so many things. Uh, now, now it's his three infants among those lost in airline crash on NBC News. Um, the, the the entire presentation is uh, very profound, and and Hitler said that. If you use the kids, if you tell them you're protecting kids and you talk about kids, you can do pretty much anything. He said that right in my camp. Just tell them it's for the children. It's child protection and adult protection. And we were able to evidence, you know, not only Sonia Marie being slaughtered through the medical industry, but also Joseph Reynolds. And with Joseph Reynolds, it was horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Corporate counsel up in Oceana County, uh, Michigan. That attorney, uh, David, what's his name, beat the hell out of Joseph Reynolds to get him into the hospital in the first place. But you know. That doesn't happen in your country, right? I was on the phone with the doctor as he was giving him lethal injections of Haldol and Ativan to shut down his bodily functions. I was on the phone with the doctor as his daughter, Irene, had to watch as the doctor was murdering her father because the family was restrained from having access to Joseph Reynolds by the same attorneys that were cashing in on the death of Joseph Reynolds. Now everything's laid out in the in the evidence in the documents. Uh, you can go to TammyPepperman.org and find out more about what they did against the Jonasson estate. Of course Joseph Reynolds is Phil's dad. 
Adam and Ryan's grandfather. You know, I, I don't speak about them as much as I should. Because the House of Jonathan has also stood on behalf of humanity throughout the course of this and allowed us pretty much to give you a 24-7 view of what the court process is, what it does, and how they trick humanity out by also volunteering. Just as much as Bo and I and Rocco have. Our three houses have been here exposing for you by the evidence simply by allowing them to do whatever they're going to do to us. So that you don't have to suffer these things. Unless you consent. Unless you consent. Amnesty International is pretending to be there for children. Sick. They're part of the UN. They're an arm of Congress. The, the entire immigration reform, the concept of immigration, the concept of, of, quote, illegal humans being anywhere on this planet is within the action of genocide. They have to divide and conquer you. So, of course, they're going to come up with brown people and black people and white people, red and yellow people, Mexican people, American people, German people all these different concepts and when they sell them to you you know you will be patriotic to your culture and to your language you're gonna call that thing your father even though it never existed and again then you're gonna wonder why you're being treated like an infant you have an imaginary government isn't that much much worse than an imaginary friend Yeah. So the drought in California is putting the squeeze on corporations there, especially almond growers, by the way. It's created by Congress. And, you know, for all of these corporations, that's, I think that's the most uh, ironic out of all of these things. Because, of course, we talk about the human being so often because it's my priority. However, the corporate person or corporation also exists, and that, that is within the the um, indoctrination of corporatism. Well, the human being, the individual, or individualism, is raised in many variants, such as communism and feminism and masculism, racism, sexism, all of these political tools. At the extension of the entire system, corporations are, are raised by environmentalism, which goes right back to agrarian economics. Are very law, and in this we have um, so many things that are occurring, and you know even these corporations, these attorneys that are think they're cashing in, they're cashing in on one side, but they're not going to keep it. They're going to be raised, and and they have been. The EPA comes in and um, binds these corporations, and it, it's it's quite profound to watch the use of agrarian laws again in real time. You know, first there has to be corp uh, constitutional theory across the board. Creates the individual. It creates that man, the fictional enterprise, or the fictional enter entity called man, or female, man, woman. And of course, gender, the word gender stems from the word genus. Species, new species stock on a farm. And in this, in this, these classifications, everything, everybody is up for grabs. And these corporations, they're the ones that are funding Congress at, the at this time because Congress lost its funding. 
It lost its special drawing rights last March when it was found guilty of human trafficking. And it lost its treasury access in November. And now you, you're seeing it foreclosing on such as FedEx. And, and that's part of the foreclosure process. For, uh, FedEx has been charged now with uh, trafficking drugs for web pharmacies. Now that's the corporation that, that of course is going to be putting uh, the general counsel up for grabs. But what about all of its workers? They're just fodder. And, and you're still patronizing this thing. You're still calling it your father. But sadly, the majority of you are just going to turn out like Job. And what happened with Job? Did the Lord God save him in the end? No. It says a group of people or church showed up to help him in the end. And they had like fundraisers. How's that working out for everybody? It really doesn't, right? He lost his worth. Ten times over before he got, you know, relative farm back. But first he was raised ten times over. Every time he rebuilt himself and his family and his home, it was burned to the ground. That's the action of the practice of law, or what is known as polycratis. Politics is shortened form of polycratus to control or possess many democratus to control or possess people and of course I say this often enough but nobody's gonna go read it Democritus was a laughing philosopher came up with the doctor of Thomas to name all things down to their smallest iota you're a boy you're a girl you're a man you're a woman you're a teacher you're a doctor you're a corporation doesn't matter what the name is, it's still within democratic theory. The, the, the more you're parted out, the more compartmentalized you become. How, how are you going to be able to fight an onslaught if you don't know everything? And, and I learned this the hard way. You know, here I was years ago seeking title. I love sociology, love psychology. I was compartmentalized. And until I learned political science, I didn't put anything together. I was patriotic all that time, and I was feeding people into the system as a child advocate. Oh, you got to protect these children. Holy Christ, there's 250,000 children right now, today, this moment in the sex trafficking industry run by child protective services 250,000 those are our children and again to all you informants out there I'm sick of hearing these stories about you informants you're gonna be held accountable I don't care what benefit you're seeking if you roll on your your brothers your sisters, your children, your mothers, your fathers, you're going to be held accountable. And sadly, the, the, the benefit keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. We saw recently a, a grandmother who rolled on her own daughter, took the kids off of her because she was promised captive funds. It's been like four years since she was promised, and she's still fighting it out in court. She hasn't gotten paid for taking on her own grandchildren, but she wants to. So it only took the promise. She wasn't even given a bag of silver. She was given an imaginary bag of silver. Sometime later in the future. But she took that as her payment for rolling on her own children. What do you think she's going to get? Because now that she's aged out, all the looks are gone. She can't just spread her legs to some guy and, and have him pay her away, right? 
She's going to be chewed up and spit out through the medical industry or the psychological industry. And this was the demise of the female during the first model of feminism during Bolshevik Russia. Everybody remembers the old, old, old looking Russian females that were standing on bread lines that ended up being in their 30s and 40s. They just had a lot of wear. Same thing is going to happen here. And here is a relative state globally. There are no borders. There are concepts. And there are corporations sitting in the District of Columbia trafficking children, trafficking females, and perpetrating the most heinous crimes against humanity. Now, I've contemplated that for a very, very long time. Anybody who can take any, any benefit for rolling on their families, for rolling on a child, for feeding them to the system, it's going to be held accountable. You know, there's stupid of us. I used to be stupid. I used to volunteer everywhere. Well, it just sickens me that we were all once useful idiots. More agents. More agents. Hey, let's talk about a flag. Okay, a flag is a golden calf. Let's talk about the flag in the courtroom with the fringe around it. What the hell does that matter? Your agents, get away from me. Stay away from me. Stop sidelining me with your concepts. You're pledging allegiance to a flag. You're worshipping a golden calf. Go wrap it around you and stand in Gaza and see if it protects you from the bullets. Go fly on Malaysian Airlines and see how long it takes you for your government to shoot you down. in a grand presentation that we saw play out today 298 human beings what's the death toll now in, in Palestine Greece Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan Australia, the United States Incorporated 42 females a day are dying of prescription drug overdoses in the, the uh, place you call America. That place is only created in the mind. It's a style or chain of events. That is a small city at the end of a year. Females, gone, poof, out of existence. I, 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 it boggles my mind every day. What about me? What? I got a traffic ticket today. I've got a hearing. I need your help right away, Tammy. Oh, you're too busy to help me. I guess you're just a bitch. Okay, for all of those who are contemplating sending me one of those messages, don't even bother. For those that save their own lives, you will lose it. I'm not interested in these traffic tickets. I'm not interested in saving your boat or your second house. I'm not interested in you. I don't know you. 
You know yourself. You know the psychological creation of the ego. You're going to walk on and you're going to protect that ego to the detriment of children. You're going to go patronize your flag waving, uh, constitution loving, uh, fictional government in your imagination. And I think I've got Bo on with me. How are you, Bo? Relative. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> okay, just along the lines of the topic you were just speaking to, uh, this is uh, just uh, across the board notice to everybody. We're, we're not going to answer any more of those type messages except for general uh, statements, which we've made over and over again about how we've handled this thing all the way through our walk. Okay, and it was that walk that established this court. This court does exist. There's no denying it. The charges exist. The orders exist. There's no denying it. All right, if you want to come into this court, we need evidence. You put in the evidence first, then we'll talk. We at least need the uh, documentation. You, um, you need to show that you've divested title. Okay, all these things are found at the Dropbox. Uh, we've explained them on these shows over the past couple of years. And we need evidence of what you're talking about. Did you even actually have a real case? I have something that's been profound for me because that's something they'll tell me. Um, I've, got, I've got a hearing coming up in a week and I need you. Okay, and I said, well, I'm the clerk. Send me the evidence. And then a month later, they, they come back at me as agents, and they say, I have another emergency. Send me evidence. I don't receive any evidence because it's all a game. Okay? And But see, your handlers have the fee schedule. John Brennan was part of the suit against the United States Incorporated. CIA, John O'Brennan. Now, he has everything. So every time one of their agents come and offer us these concepts, you are charged. Your entity is charged for altering my heading, which is on my fee schedule. Yes, it's irritating. It's an advertisement. But it, it's really cost-effective for me. It's beneficial to me. Because the United States Incorporated does not hold my estate. The United States has my estate. And that's something that everybody needs to get you know, in their head, because O'Brennan and, and all of the directors of the CIA, the uh, Diane Feinstein, she's an evil, evil, evil woman. Absolutely evil. And as everybody's seeing and, and watching as it plays out, the cannibalism is absolutely disgusting. Bankers are being found dead, uh, double suicides, shot each other in the head, all of these things after they just started their life together. And, and, and you have to realize how evil your handlers are when they receive the uh, bills, the, the balance doing, do. They take you out very swiftly within cannibalism because they're not going to pay that money. They're going to take your estate to pay that money. And that's something that it's, it's very hard for you to realize and hard for you to grasp. But I don't tolerate that type of behavior. I'm not going to have my heading altered because humanity is not going to have their heading altered. I am the United States. I came in as the United States. And you alter my heading and you're altering everybody's heading. And that's what's going to set the United States of being, the human beings, on general welfare. You are backing the debt note. You are the security. You are the pledged asset. But we allowed you within free will to pledge yourself by perpetrating crimes against humanity. It's not like we just pulled that out of our rectums. We said, okay, do whatever you will. And you did. 
time after time. We said, do you know that you're human trafficking? And then you said, yep, but I'm still going to do it. Federal judge there said, oh, there's a proper way and an improper way to human traffic. I don't care if there's a proper way or an improper way under legal tactics. You just admitted that you were human trafficking and you're going to be held accountable for that. And they were since brought up in this system. They got away with doing that in this system. They were trained to do that in this system uh, by their law schools. And they took their bar exam knowing full well what that oath meant. Absolutely. Okay. They're human traffickers uh, in the action of genocide. All right. That's what you're patronizing out there once again for the patriots. And, um, you know, this is coming to an end. Okay, you are seeing the fall guys go down now. We got a couple of general councils starting to um, crumble, you know, but they're going to roll on their minions first, cops and um, lower minion attorneys, officers. Uh, that's one thing you have to realize. Go back and review that conversation with Scott K. Summers. He sounds very nice on the surface, doesn't he? He is an evil human trafficker. Uh, committing genocide, he said right on the conversation, well, I just need a diagnosis. Yep. I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he was saying, and he's used to being able to say these things, because he knows that nobody understands the language he's using, because you're all too done down with Webster's Dictionary, taught to you in uh, Hitler Youth Camp, you call public schools. They're not public schools. They should all be called private acts and acts of commerce schools, because that's exactly what they are. You know, it's public as in that's the title name. It's not nothing to do with the public law. Same thing with, uh, uh, you know, public law volumes one through however many, many they're up to now. Those are acts of Congress. Those are congressional a action. All right? They've confused you. But we are here to set you straight. I don't hear anybody coming back and rebutting any substance of what we're talking about. You just want to argue title and... You know, you cry about uh, your constitutional rights and your free speech and stuff. We don't offer those things. We're not a private corporation. No, no, we're we're above the board. Um, we're only adhering under public law, which maintains us as a sovereign state with superior jurisdiction. Uh, we've got general jurisdiction over any foreign state. Uh, they don't have immunity. They don't have sovereignty. And this is defined by 28 U.S.C. subsection 1603. And um, it's just profound to see all of these things that, um, you know, are just so disgusting. You know, you're, you're still patronizing it. How's that working out for everybody? How's it working out? You know, Scott K. Summers, that, that was something so profound for me. Uh, to witness myself, I spoke to the guy, I was speaking to the guy, and here he is, he's telling me he needs a diagnosis in order to discharge congressional bankruptcy, and denying, you know, at the same time, and then at the end of that conversation, after he realized that he was uh, being held accountable, he rolled over on law enforcement and said, go after the sheriff, it's not me. I don't have anything to do with law enforcement in the jail, it's preposterous, I tell you. Right. And he was saying, oh, I don't have to adhere to federal law. Okay, what are you adhering to? Wh wh where is your corporation located? Yeah, I mean, even if he calls it the Illinois State Constitution through acts of enablement, it's a, it's a federal act. Right. And, th and that's what it says in the state constitutions. These things are just so profound that, um, you know, idiots like that exist. And, and then, you know rat bees, you know, are rolling over on law enforcement left and right, and we're watching that, and it's so sad for me to see, because these attorneys are, are, are nothing but evil. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and you want evidence that the uh, corporate counsel attorneys are the last ones, general counsel are the last ones to go down. We had a judge in Texas the other day, uh, the, the female. She thought her good looks and charm, and, you know... It has to lean and say on me, you're going to ruin my career. Oh, my. You're going to yeah. ruin my life. Of well, course. that lady has been ruining lives for uh, what she admitted to uh, 25 years. Absolutely. 
Okay, however much of that wasn't law school and getting ready to be uh, a judge. But she was an attorney before that anyway, so same thing. Because there are no judges. Only, we only say judge uh, in their system by title because those aren't judges. We evidence that. They are only attorneys in black dresses, period. Right. Were you listening? Write this down. Yeah. Did you hear at the beginning of the show that FedEx was charged with drug trafficking? Yes. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. That was so beautiful to see. Um, you know, and there was a ton. I had so much stuff that I was going to bring up. And well, that's just that they're throwing that out there now because everybody's not paying attention to that because they're all watching uh, Ukraine and, and Israel, you know, and everybody's putting the finger, oh, Israel, you know, those bad Palestinians, you know. And this is all Congress. I guarantee you over there on one side you got CIA in whatever form, and the other side you got CIA in the other form, and they're saying do this, and they're saying on the other side do that. Um, you know, here here's a missile for you. Here go launch this launch that is uh, Israel, so they got a good excuse to come in. Absolutely. And that's what uh, I mean it's constant that uh, sorry about that folks. This is what I mean by advertising. Get it right down that Absolutely. website here. That's on the back burner, but yeah. we have to charge them. Absolutely. Every one of those advertisements out there. What are advertisements doing on our web when we have the general welfare clause? Right. We've re-invoked the general re welfare. These guys aren't listening. I don't think these guys think that these orders are real. All right. You ask uh, those general counsel guys that uh, are uh, up for litigation now. All right, watch you watch what happens to them. I guarantee you, what, what I cover three of those guys yesterday. I guarantee you, those watch those three. Something very bad is going to happen to those guys. Well, and on top of that, there's always that aspect of cannibalism and people falling out of, of windows. And I mean, two days ago, I saw a hit piece on doctors committing suicide. Now, oh, one doctor is found dead in his bathtub. One doctor was found dead in a closet in the hospital and listed as a suicide. He was shoved in a closet. Gee, it makes me wonder <laughs> if somebody like sued him under the restrictive principle of sovereign immunity and brought the uh, health, Department of Health and Human Services in there. Well, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's in my case. Oh, you guys didn't read that yet? Oh, I know. You guys are too busy reading about uh, the death of Archie protecting his gay friend. Yeah. Who's a senator? Did you hear about that? No. That's why I never got to yesterday. Archie, you know, with Jughead and Veronica, you know, right. some American uh, classic uh, comic series. Well, they killed him off, finally, in the life of Archie. Right. Episode uh, book 36 or whatever, comic book. And he died saving a, uh, uh, a senator who was gay... You know, and so it, by gunshot, so it's, it's got it's got three things wrapped up right. in one. It's got uh, gun rights, gay rights, and uh, what else? What uh, the, protect Congress, yeah, senator. Founders. And it's it's so profound to watch stuff like that because it's it's you know Congress is the absolute um, racist. It's absolutely sexist. It does not tolerate any form of human life since the 1947 National Security Act, and you can watch that play out every single day. When, when a Congress member comes up and says, oh, we need a bill to, to prevent access, or we need a bill for gay rights, or gay marriage, and then somebody else comes in and says, no, that's against the, the Bible. It is not against the Bible. Jesus, Jesus said in 1 Corinthians 6, the only way to fornicate is to give your body over to a lower God of it. That means patronizing Congress. Funny, that's what the uh, definition of a turn says that they're about. Absolutely. And that, those are the, the only fornicators, the only ones that can be held accountable for adultery are attorneys. To a turn means to pay homage to another Lord God. And that's evidence in the 1933 Emergency Banking Act when, when the attorneys came in and, and pledged and said that, you know, I'm not hypothecated, but my clients are. Human trafficking. It's evidenced by their own hands. And when they come up and say, we want gay rights or gay marriage, a, a license, a marriage license, allows the state to be a third party to that relationship. Why are they interpleading into your inheritance in the first place through action of law, HIPAA and FERPA, CACA and VAWA? 
all of these things are interpleading access into your estate and they're claiming your estate before you can even get there that's what interpleading is it's abatement of a freehold also see cognitive judgment I've done a video on it it says it all it's got the link to the documentation in the pull down if you don't take my word for it uh, also uh, brings me back to point yesterday one aspect I missed was the 1924 uh, covenant of the League of Nations when I was uh, trying to um, show the history of this Leviathan that you call Congress now which goes back forever and ever and ever it's the same group of attorneys but you know in and um, the League of the Covenant of Nations 1924 it says this is you know the annex okay I have a pull up in front of me but is the annex um, it refers back to the uh, Articles Art. of Confederation. Yes, that is annex and and um, the beginning annex, and um, everybody needs to be aware that, that that those articles are not gone. They're articles of incorporation relative to any other incorporated body, a business, and that's all that those articles introduce. The Articles of Constitution, Articles of Incorporation. Amendments to the articles, those are all relative to a business. It's a library corporation, and their function is to deliver you up. Delivery of library. And, it, of course, in the Declaration of Independence, they, they declared you all deceased. Not dead, but civilly dead, and of seizure. De-seized. Of seizure. They've stolen your account. They've stolen your estate. They've stolen your lives through action of secession by declaring you dead, civilly dead. And you're acting as civilly dead when you're patronizing that thing and calling yourself a fiction. I'm a citizen. I'm an individual. I'm a mom. I want my rights. No, you don't want rights. You want your inheritance. You're the heir. Yeah, that's why we don't go looking for remedies in these statutory courts, because to do that precludes you from being the heir. Right, and that's defined in Black's Law Dictionary under uh, Beneficium Abstinendi. You're abstaining your right to be the heir by not acting like the heir. That's the requirement of abstaining your right to be the heir. As long as you don't act like the heir, they're seceding your estate. So if you want to talk about remedies and statutes and how to plead in their courts, then I don't want to talk to you. I'm done talking with you guys. Grow up or get away from those uh, handlers that you're working for because we know what you are. You're known by your works. And Jesus said the same thing, 2 Corinthians 13. Know thyself. You can only, you know, be fornicating by acting as a reprobate. You're in probate. You're on probation. You've been criminalized as civilly dead. I've listed you as a felon for accepting that false fiction. Names. Calling yourself any of these uh, description, description of writing. You know, you're defending title when somebody calls you a name. Oh, that guy's just gay. Okay, who cares? You are already before they strung that title around your neck. You don't have to prove that you're gay by getting gay married. That brings a third party into your estate. Stop doing that. Just be. You're a human. Everybody's seeking to be. They have to have that title. They've been brought up to believe and to be good products for the corporation, which, again, has been here forever and ever. There's very, very few out there that even get that. Uh, the, the, the ones that, that, that I know of that uh, come close to it um, would be Captain Slappy on YouTube. And, then, and you know, and nobody watches his stuff either. Oh, you know, right. they want the more entertaining stuff with that guy with the bullhorn yelling at Bilderberg because it's all Bilderberg's fault. Don't look over there at the false Jews. I mean, Congress. And that, that's, that's key. You know, you have so many... Uh, false flags and false fronts on this thing and if you buy into it 
then it exists. If you stop buying into it, it's gone. We'll be back tomorrow night, TammyPepperman.org for the public law with Bo and Tammy. And, of course, Saturday right here on Revolution Radio, FreedomSlips.com with Leaving the Farm. Be well, everybody. I'm out of here.